All right, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about in this video. One piece of confirmed information and like several rumors that are going around. Some I think have a bit more weight than others, but that's just personal opinion, but we'll talk about all of them. But to start off, it's been officially announced that there's going to be a South by Southwest panel for Sonic the Hedgehog featuring Aaron Weber, Tyson Hess, Jasmine Hernandez, Takashi Izuka and Austin Keys. It says, Sonic is back and ready to take 2018 by storm. Join the official team from Sega who are building Sonic's future as they give you an update on last year's strong performance of Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces, as well as the world exclusive first look at what comes next for the fastest blue hedgehog. Speakers include Sonic team head Takashi Izuka, Sonic PD director Austin Keys, Sonic Mania animation director Tyson Hess, and Sonic social media manager Aaron Weber. You won't want to miss this. So if you don't remember, Last year, around March of 2017, I just said last year, but yeah, there was a Sonic South by Southwest panel, and at that panel, we got gameplay, the first ever gameplay of Sonic Forces, back when we still thought it was called Project Sonic 2017. So this year, on March 16th, 2018, from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., I'm assuming some kind of American time zone, we're gonna have that panel as well, which I'll be streaming my reactions to as well, by the way. But yeah, last year I streamed my reactions and we got gameplay of Project 20 Sonic 2017. And this year, I'm assuming we're gonna get some new information regarding Sonic. And of course, you know, the movie is coming out in 2019. So we're gonna get something related to that as well. But, um. The way they said a world exclusive first look at what comes next for the fastest blue hedgehog, they're making it seem like it's a big deal. And apparently some people are asking Aaron Weber, like, is it a big deal? And it's like, you know, keep your expectations low. But he always kind of says that. I don't I don't know what to think. Because the way they're describing this is like something important is happening. Like, of course, you've got the comics as well. We're probably going to see something to do with the comics, something to, to do with the movie. And if you look at my previous video, I mentioned that we're most likely going to get a 2019 Sonic game. So they might hint that they're working on something, but I doubt they'll show us any form of gameplay or even reveal a name for this game. This is like a Project Sonic kind of name kind of thing. I don't know. But we've got some rumors who really want to give us the info, try and fill in the blanks for us. So we're going to get into the first rumor right now. And these are 4chan rumors. So take these with a full like tub of salt. But it says here, Sonic Heroes is getting a remake. It says, take this post with as many grains of salt as you wish. I just want to share some info. Sonic Team have been working on a Sonic Heroes remake for some time now, being developed alongside Sonic Forces. This is going to be the first time Sonic Team will be remaking a game from the Dreamcast era using the Hedgehog Engine 2 and will be released for all major platforms. However, Sega signed a deal with Sony to make it a PS4 timed exclusive. The game will launch on PS4 in mid-July with versions for Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC following in late October, early November. So I'm assuming this year. The remake will have an amazing graphical overhaul, no images on me unfortunately, but a good way to imagine it is to think of Seaside Hill in Sonic Generations but with far better lighting and textures may vary depending on platforms, so I guess Switch port getting butchered of course. The controls feel much less slippery and more firm, the voice acting has been updated to start the current Sonic voice cast, and the CGI scenes have been remade by Marza Animation Planet. The only things that have not been changed are the level designs and the music. Things added to this remake of Sonic Heroes include an online leaderboard for time trials and the ability to play through the game with a new team of avatars brought back from Sonic Forces. You can design each character for speed, flight and strength if you have a Sonic Forces safe out on your system. You can import your avatars to Sonic Heroes. Sonic Team have also been experimenting using Amiibo to store custom heroes from Forces and Heroes, okay? As for other Sonic related stuff, there's a Sonic Gacha mobile game in the works which will be released in Japan first in April, who really cares about that? An arcade version of Sonic Mania which will be doing location tests at Dave and & Buster's and Club Sega in mid 2018, and the already announced comics. You should expect to hear about Sonic Heroes Remastered before E3, even though it's a remake because people don't know the difference between a remaster and a remake, oh my god. And then, and then we'll then have a trailer at Sony's E3 press conference. Stay tuned, heroes. Okay, so right off the bat, this is probably the most believable rumor out of the bunch. Not saying it's true, because I don't think it is, but I had to pick one of these rumors. I, you haven't seen the other ones yet, but I had to pick one of these rumors that is true. I would say the heroes one is the most believable. Not because I like heroes or I think it's the greatest game ever made, but which I do, but it just seem, it, it, it seems believable. I mean, not because, I, I, I don't know how to put it, but Sonic CD actually got a remake before the classics, which is kind of interesting. And this seems like another safe bet for them because Heroes was a high setting Sonic game, it was a multi and people seem to like the adventure games more. So it's like, let's 
try remaking Heroes before we go back and risk remaking the adventure games kind of thing. And that's the only kind of reason why it has a little bit of weight to it. And I mean, I guess normally I wouldn't have even given it any kind of consideration, but it's like, after the guy basically a year ago, well not a year ago, but a year before Forces came out, predicted the entirety of Sonic Forces, back when he said it was the working title was Sonic Wars, and he basically de described the whole OC creation thing, and people didn't believe him and it happened, I was just like, wow, like that was one that I didn't expect, so with this, it's just kind of, it's kind of like, maybe this is actually happening, you know, you got like, separate parts of Sonic team, you got like that supposed A team and B team, some people worked on Colors and Lost World, others worked on Unleashed and Gens or whatever, so maybe this is what the other part of Sonic team are working on, but let's just discuss what these things are saying and then discuss why they're not a good idea, because I don't actually want this remake, I, I, I love Heroes to Death and when you love a game that much and you think Sonic team, you know, current Sonic team who mess everything up, I just don't think they'll get it right they'll mess up the remake of course it'll graphically look better but it says they're going to make the controls feel much less slippery which i just i, I know they're gonna mess that up by less slippery like I, I people like to hate on heroes control but i honestly think that heroes has good control it's a bit slippery but honestly once you're used to it you can work around it but what they're gonna do is make it feel like colors lost world forces control where it's very stiff very start stoppy like you can't turn and have fluid movement everything is start stoppy that's the only way i can describe it it's been like that since colors but it got worse in lost world it got worse in forces and i just feel like they're gonna use that shitty control for heroes which th th shouldn't be in heroes but of course i'm gonna be biased I've, I, I play heroes a lot so if they change things that i like about the game if it's a game i consider at least a solid 9.5 then that means that they can only make it worse the chances are they're not gonna make it better and they say their voice acting has been updated to start the current sonic voice cast i mean if they're keeping the exact same lines then i guess modders could just mod in the original voice cast so that's not really a big problem for me but i still don't like this decision you know and the CGI scenes have been remade. I mean, it's just, you know, the CGI scenes, so they just look higher res and whatnot, so that's cool. But I don't know. And then they got the avatar thing as well, which I'm not a fan of at all. Like, I don't want no avatars in, in, in the Heroes remake. But as long as it's an addition and not taking anything away, then I guess it's cool. But of course, there's more rumors. And this is coming from a second source. And this guy talks about a bunch of other shit and includes the Heroes remake as well. So this kind of ties into the first rumor, but it's by a separate leaker. So this one seems a lot less believable, but we're going to talk about it anyway. So this guy says, leaker here, dropping this while I have the chance. Can't reveal too much because then it will be obvious. Okay. Heroes is not slash sort of happening at South by Southwest. There is an adventure one and two from the ground up being made of course wow heroes is being okay okay this is a test space for sonic team to see if they can do a third wow yeah i don't know if this is 100 percent but i've heard from a few higher ups that izuka is basically going fucking green mode at the remake which i think means that he's not happy with it because i don't think izuka is a big adventure fan a lot of music is proving to be a problem as well contracts etc and certain certain legal matters revolving around the whole thing south by southwest and even when i'm about to type it i'm laughing to myself because i just know nobody would ever believe me even if i gave you my official id badge prepare yourself <laughs> look at this part sonic forces 2 is being made wait for it classic sonic is now mania gameplay Izuka directly directing the Mania team. <laughs> Boost gameplay is a little bit more open, aiming more for Unleashed style day levels. Of course, the pinnacle of open, but the entire Classic Sonic turns into a new Mania game. Hence why Hess is appearing at South by Southwest to reveal a cutscene they've been working on. And the twist of the animated cutscene is Rosie the Rascal appears, OG Amy who is only playable in Classic. The reason that Heroes leak is going viral is because it is to some degree true. How can how can it be some degree true? If it's a Heroes remake, it's either happening or it's not. What do you mean it's to some degree true? They're, they're remaking half the game? It says, but sort of not. All the teams from Heroes is returning except Team Rose. So already they're fucking up the remake because they're removing parts of the game. This is being replaced with Team Forces. All your custom avatars with all different powers. This much like Forces is the funnest part of the game. Who said the avatars are the funnest part of the game? You think they went all out with customization on Forces 1? You ain't seen shit. 
takes place right after Forces, completely ignores the comics, separate universe, Infinite is never brought up again, wait and see, left out quite a few things, but I'll tease this, and it says 1 out of 2, but there's no 2 out of 2, so... This rumor is all over the place, like clearly, they're trying to say there's SA1 and SA2 remakes being made from the ground up, but the only SA1 and 2 remakes from the ground up being made are the fan ones, because this, this shit is fake as fuck, but I, I'm interested in that Forces 2 part, because do you think Sonic Team would do this? I, I, I don't know, like, it just, it seems a bit too soon for Forces 2, but maybe, maybe, I don't know, this rumor just seems very out there, only reason I'm covering it is because, like, I thought it would be interesting to talk about, because it kind of tied into the original heroes remake and they're saying that they're going to remove team rose and replace it with team forces and i guess team rose is one of the least liked teams of heroes alongside chaotix but chaotix win on originality so i guess if they were to take out a team i would have to go with rose but i still love every team in the game but rose kind of felt like the generations mode like too short and too easy but it was cool like well, from time to time you play team dark and you move to team rose to see how easy and short it is but it's not something that you want to like replay that much like some people they prefer team rose because they don't like long sonic stages but me personally because i love long sonic stages which is one of the reasons why i love heroes in the first place i i don't really mind team rose going too much but it's it i feel like at the same time it's it's defying the game to just get rid of a team and then replace it with some forces jank but this whole forces 2 thing is just weird when it says clash sonic is now a main gameplay does that mean clash sonic is stood in forces 2 or he's getting a separate thing because they kind of you know sounded a bit ambiguous here but i guess they're getting the mania team to work on the classic part of forces 2 instead of just letting the mania team do their own thing and keeping classic sonic out of the modern games but of course at the end of forces tails did say or no sonic said you know modern sonic said i have to specify modern but modern sonic said oh we'll probably see classic sonic again blah 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 so this could be it they could have been like yo we're making a forces 2 and now they're saying infinite is never brought up again so he just left somewhere towards the end of forces one and just I, I don't know like these things these rumors man it's just it's, it's just really weird rumors but honestly when it comes to the heroes to no not heroes to when it comes to the heroes we make thing I I, I I don't want it to happen at all because they're going to mess up the control they're going to replace the original voice cast which was good except maybe tails and charmy but i don't want them to do that no disrespect to the current voice cast but you know i guess memories nostalgia you know but the biggest things are going to fuck up the control and they're going to make the game a lot more automated mark my words right now the game is going to become a lot more spline heavy and you're going to play it and it's going to not feel like you're fully playing the game whereas in original heroes you were originally originally you were playing the game it they're going to mess this is sonic team the problem the problem i have with this right and i don't want to go on a rant but heroes mean so much to me that i have to say the problem i have with this is that sonic team they've made good games in the past and it's like they can't make any good games anymore it's one thing to make new bad games or new mediocre games but to take games from the past that were considered good and then ruin them for us as well so that now instead of porting the og heroes to steam instead of porting it to modern day consoles instead of putting the adventure trilogy on the switch they're just gonna what, remake and make worse versions of that will look graphically superior but in every other way is worse like, i just don't like that mentality like convince us that you can make good games before you say, oh, let's let's play a nostalgia thing. Like, Forces has got all these old zones in it. Why has it got Green Hill and Chemical Plant? It's like, instead of making something that's universally considered good, it's like, let's just pick things from the past that people like so that they'll think it's good because they associate with the past. I, I don't like that concept at all. If they were making a streak of good games, you know, and then it was like, we want to remake Heroes. I'd be like, cool, have at it. But it's like, you can't do shit, Sonic Team. You can't do anything properly. So now you want to take a game that was so well made and then make an inferior version of it. And it's just, it's, it's, it's annoying me. Honestly, I, I hope it's not real. I really do. And it's, and I love Heroes to death. I've sunk hundreds of hours into this game, probably a thousand, but it's kind of hard to count because so many different ports. I 100% of the game. Like, I don't want them to touch my favorite games. Like, it, they're going to mess it up. And I just know this. It will look nicer, but that's about it. Like, if this remake was real, these are the few points that I have for the remake to be perfect. Keep it to updated graphics, slightly less slippery control, don't change the voice acting, don't touch the voice acting, online multiplayer, and three player team co-op mode. So one human controls a speed character, one controls the flight, one controls the power, and you traverse the stage together 
with of course online support time attack mode so leaderboards time attack with its own separate ranking separate to the main ranking so obviously there'll be an a rank for the highest time attack. i don't know if they'll change the ranks to s to d instead of a to e i don't i don't know i'm fine either way and then the sound effect for defeating enemies should be the sa2 slash 06 one or the generations one like honestly here it just had these really faint sound effects when you defeated the enemies like didn't feel as powerful as it should so it just change it to one of those other games that had more powerful sound effects that's pretty that's pretty much it nothing else needs to be touched maybe if they could find a way to make the team battles a bit more clear as what you're supposed to do fine but they, I, I don't want them messing around with the game and there's one more rumor this has come from a completely different source so the rumor here is that sumo sumo digital are working on a new karting game and those are the guys who worked on the all-stars racing games so it says sumo digital, ugh, sumo digital has worked on two sonic kart races for sega sonic and sega all-stars racing launched in 2010 followed by sonic and all-stars racing transformed a couple of years later a third entry could now be a possibility slides from a supposed sumo presentation have apparently leaked online one page covers project in development at the studio including an unannounced karting game based on an established global ip here's a look at the slide in question so it says in development top secret they've got multiple points here one says multi-project collaboration with international publishing partner so fps development piece to console so that's probably some kind of port unannounced major partner original fps established global ip but the point we're looking for here is unannounced karting game established global ip original development so it's not going to be mario so unless it's crash it's another sonic kart game which i guess would be cool I've only played the first two Kart Sonic games a little bit, so not much. But from what I remember, they were cool. You know, not, I, I, I wasn't like in love with them, but they were cool. Like, I think I prefer original Riders more, but at least it's a certified good game. Like, they're not going to mess this up. So it's something good to add to Sonic's reputation because Sonic has a way of staying afloat. Sonic, Sonic has a way of doing just enough to stay relevant and good but not more than he should be doing like he, he never does a good amount he just does just enough to stay afloat like he's drowning he's just doing enough just to not drown like he'll drop you know generations in 2011 and it's like oh sonic is back da, 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 da. then lost world comes out and it's like uh then mina comes out it's like yeah he's back again then forces kind of like it's like uh then you know they, they do just enough to stay in the relevancy book but then they they don't want to take it a step further and cement their place like you know like nintendo like with mario like they mario is cemented as a great platformer and sonic is just kind of like we'll do enough to to remind them that we're still here but we won't actually do the right amount you know it's just it's just it's kind of weird so yeah you know mainly came out increased uh, helped the reputation of sonic forces put it down a bit now we're going to come out with this you know, supposed Forces 2, which will have, you know, the main team work on Sonic, which will help it, I guess. Um, you've got, which is a rumor, of course, you've got the Heroes 2 remake, which hopefully they won't fuck up too much for it to get a low score. You know, I'm just talking like personally, I think they're going to make it worse than the original. Like you might have a different idea, but that will help, I guess, hopefully the franchise. This Kart Racer will definitely help because it's a good game. It will be a good game. I trust Sumo Digital with that. And they're saying if a new Sonic Racers in the works, it works, it will almost certainly be on the Switch. The first game was available on both Wii and DS, while the second came to Wii U and 3DS. Sonic in general also has a heavy pre presence on Nintendo platforms, but I mean, I guess All Stars Racing was on PC as well as on Steam, so I think it will get a Steam port, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for the rumors, honestly. There's a lot of stuff going around and sorry this video is kind of all over the place but it's not it's not like a scripted like edited video kind of it's just me kind of just sharing my thoughts you know i don't really do this a lot like I, I i usually make my discussions very like specific very like to the point and just edit them but i just wasn't feeling that i just wanted to like speak from the heart because this heroes we make is really it's giving me nightmares because <sighs> i said it before i don't want to repeat but you know it's one thing to make new mediocre games, but then to take the games that were considered good and then make mediocre versions of them, it would be like the GBA port of, of Sonic 1 that came out in 06, but then this would be like the multiplayer version that they'd be considering the definitive version because they haven't ported Heroes to anything. So literally, this would be the version that would be on Switch, on PS4, on Xbox One, on Steam, and then they'll kind of just toss the old version to the side and say, oh, that's the old one, that's what GameCube graphics, we're not gonna, we're not gonna fuck with that no more, like, we're done with that like you know and it's just like no like i don't want them to do that but 
You know what? I've said all I can say. You know, I still firmly believe that we're going to get a 2019 Sonic game, regardless of what what of these rumors are true or fake or whatever. I still firmly believe we're getting a 2019 Sonic game because I said in a previous video that the um, movie was supposed to come out in 2017. It was a rumor, but I still believe this rumor. The movie was supposed to come out in 2017. That part wasn't a rumor. That part was true. But Forces was supposed to be a tie-in game to the movie, which is why we saw Green Hill and Chaos in there because those were things that appeared in the movie or something like that. So now that we've got the movie coming out in 2019, they're definitely going to be working on a game that sort of ties into that. But, you know, 10th anniversary, we got a game two years after. 15th anniversary, we got a game two years after. 20th anniversary, we got a game two years after. 25th anniversary, game came out 2017 we're probably gonna get 2019 game so just brace yourselves for that so i don't know what that game is gonna be if it really is going to be the forces 2 i don't know but we'll find out i guess but yeah let me know what you guys think about these rumors and let me know what you guys think about the south by southwest panel what do you think we're gonna see and do you want to see a heroes remake do you want to see an adventure games remake which i didn't talk too much about the adventure games remakes either like i the, if basically the things i said about the heroes remakes apply to the adventure remakes as well superior graphics but they'll just mess up something they'll mess up the control they haven't been able to replicate sa1's near perfect 3d control in 20 years so they'll mess something up you know but yeah I don't, I don't think they should be doing remakes until they can make their own new good games but that's all i've got to say on that honestly so yeah let me know what you guys think about these rumors and all that stuff but that's all i have to say right now so do me out